You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. So firstly, thank you very much for joining us. If you could just introduce yourselves to us, uh, firstly. Uh, I'm Dawn Dealey of Animal Search UK. And, and I'm Rose Steedman, also from Animal Search UK. So if our listeners have never heard of you, could you tell them a little bit about what you do and how it all works? Right, Animal Search UK is an organisation that's um, based in Hereford, but we actually work countrywide. Uh, and um, primarily, if you lose a pet, you can... Um, post that pet as missing or if you find a pet you can put it as found on the site and that is actually free to do that Um, and then also we do things like supply uh, posters and leaflets which is very often covered by people's pet insurance and we also give the service that we're here doing today which is a search team where we actively look and encourage other people to look for the missing pet um, today the pet in question is Louis, which is a very much loved um, cat and um, that's what we're here doing today so um, tell us a bit more about um, how that works if people spot the cat do they contact you and, and that sort of thing yes um, basically um, there is a, um, uh, a site set up um, under the name of Animal Search UK you can access that by any sort of search website Google or anything like that and uh, you can um, actually post the cat as found on there but what we actually do is we go around and we put posters and leaflets and each cat has a reference number or each pet has a reference number and there is a free phone telephone number where you can contact and report any sightings or or anything that you may feel is of help uh, towards finding the pet that's pretty amazing that you sort of come out right across the country so you're not near to us but there's this cat missing you come down here no we've actually traveled five hours today um but we will go anywhere um, I think we're quite a unique service um, and so although we're based in Hereford um, we've got a few teams that actually go out and search for the pet wherever we do Scotland wherever there's a need um, we do go this is a paid service and they are usually very much loved pets and um, we'll go out and do everything that we can to raise the profile of that cat search gardens and obviously we ask communities to help us because that's usually how we do find them with the help of the public and by allowing us to search garages sheds things like that so it goes hand in hand really that we supply the service but we do ask the community to help us as well so this cat's gone missing what we'd know as the Thistle Hill area the new estate up on Thistle Hill um, could you just describe the uh, the cat for us uh, right, Louis is um, um, is a, a, quite an ordinary cat, really. He's um, he's very shy. He's um, I pres- 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 I guess you'd call him like a tabby colour but what he's got noticeable features is he's got a very white nose and muzzle Uh, in other words his chin and the area around his nose is white and he's got white whiskers. Um, If they go onto the um, website onto the page, his reference number is 338465 there will be a picture of Louis on there. He's also got uh, a cyst which has been treated on his shoulder albeit that's more by sense of touch than is visible Um, but he is a very much loved pet and the circumstances of Louis going missing are quite sad really so um, we just want to get him back is there a phone number people can call as well if they're not a web user yes there's a phone number and as i say this is free by any by any means um uh, mobile landline it's zero eight zero zero four three two zero three four zero and as i say if they quote the reference number three three eight four six five that number does relate to louis and only louis um So that would be very much appreciated. But they can also access um, our site, which is Animal Search UK. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the circumstances of Louis going missing, if that's okay. Um, Louis belongs to two lovely ladies who have actually now moved to Leeds. They came down to um, this area uh, to look after an elderly relative who has since died. And they remained in the property with their two cats uh, while it was put up for sale and actually sold. On Friday the 24th they moved house and on that day Louis took to disappear and um, 
sadly they had to go without him and so they are in Leeds at the moment at the end of their tether really not knowing what to do and that is one of the reasons that they've called us in because they they can't travel um they're a villal themselves and they can't keep coming back from leeds to here to look for louis so it really is asking us to help and asking the community because louis is a cat that normally lives indoors so it's quite um, out of character for him to be out in the cold weather and obviously there's growing concerns because it's been over a week now and they just want to get louis back safe and well well, I'd like to thank the both of you for taking the time out to talk to us and uh, let us know about what you do. We'd also like to thank you because obviously, as I say, we do rely heavily on the community and uh, if um, if people like yourselves help us and get the community to help us, it will get Louis home and Louis found. And um, so we'd like to thank you and any of your listeners for helping us with this and any other um, cats that um, go missing in the area. Thank you.